hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel how you all doing so today i'm going to be showing you all how you can cover those acne scars and hyperpigmentations and look so fly okay so to start i'm going to be going in with my primer this oil mattifying primer from mary Kay, and i'm just going to rub that into my skin because i have oily skin so it's preferable to use a matte primer so i'm just going to rub that all in massage it in and of course i applied my nivea moist face um, body cream as a moisturizer before starting this look and after that i'm going to be going with my la girl pro concealer and this is the orange corrector which i'm going to be using to color correct with time i'm going to tell you all um, more about color correcting but it depends you basically color correct depending on your shade i think green neutralizes uh, you have to like follow the color chart and know which color neutralizes which depending on the kind of scars or hyperpigmentation you want to cover so today i'm going to be using this orange corrector and i'm just going to apply that all over my affected areas where i have acne scars and like you see i have hyperpigmentation that's a dark shadow around my laugh lines but just so you know i don't color correct each time i want to do makeup just so, because i don't feel in my way sometimes i really get affected i do my makeup and around my laugh lines are looking dark because of my hyperpigmentation but at the end of the day we still fly so i'm using this brush from real techniques and i'm just going to blend out the color corrector and you see me go in again with my master beauty blender just to go over it to further blend it because if you don't blend it well is going to should i say seep through your foundation your foundation will have that orangey effect and you don't want that so you want to probably properly blend your color corrector and this time i'm looking like a whole mess like i just had an accident or something but we're going to fix that right away okay so I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal foundation in the shade C6 and C8. I'm going to mix the two together to get my foundation shade. Yes, I know it looks a bit orange, but like I always say, it's going to oxidize and look exactly or close to my skin tone. So as you see me blending, this brush is also from Real Techniques. Guys, I must recommend Real Techniques ha have so many nice amazing brushes since i started using real tennis brushes man i don't regret it so i advise you all to get brushes from real tennis they are nice soft and fluffy and all that so i'm just going to go in again with my beauty blender because it is like i said it blends everything it makes sure everything is pink and looking nice and smooth like you can already see you no longer see my scars or all the marks i showed you before i already getting that flawless nice like who had those cars nobody nobody around you had cars okay pimples can do us nothing so i'm just going to continue blending sorry about the light it was trying to mess up but mm -mm. we don't even care we'll see your fly so this is how i'm looking so far i'm looking a bit dumb just because i have foundation on my mouth and that but i'm just going to blend and i'm showing you guys you can no longer see the marks like i said you just see little bumps here and there so i'm just going to do the rest of my face off camera what you see me do all the time highlight contour and everything if you like to see a tutorial on the eyeshadow